All right, I had someone text me and say, hello, I wanna hear all about your mascara. Um, My good old mama got me this one. It's the Grandioso by L'Oreal. And if you go in there, ask for, I don't know which one it is. Um, I'd say Grandioso, it's the one with the curved brush. But anyway, I just did a coat on this one. I'll go in and clean it up after. But I love, love, love this mascara. Oh my gosh, I love it. But, um, it's kind of weird putting it on in here. And that angles that aren't very cute, that's for sure. Um, but I just like how this goes on. I love it. Um, but to kind of go back to what I was talking about with um, the Audible that I'm listening to, if you guys are crazy like me and like weird, things, true crime. I can only really listen to anything true. I like true things. Um, fantasy stuff is cool, but um, like true crime stories or real life stories, people's life stories has always been amazing to me. But also, um, but this one called Mindhunter, yes it is on Netflix, but the book kind of goes more in depth and I didn't know it was all based upon a true story. But you guys, it is so interesting. It talks about like serial killers, the, the guy that even came up with the term serial killer and was, um, anyway, so he, he profiled Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer and all these crazy, crazy, crazy cases. And it is so interesting, really interesting. So if you guys have a chance and you guys like weird stuff like me, listen to it and let me know what you think. It's super crazy. I don't want to tell you that I love it because I don't want you guys to be like, well, she's weird. But, um, see, this is why I can't do multitask. Um, anyway, so if you guys have an opportunity, listen to it. It's really interesting. If you guys have an opportunity and need new mascara, try this mascara out and try out the Charlotte Tilbury, um, Airbrush Flawless. I love it. So, so far so good. I just feel like it really makes my face super even toned. And all. I, and then I did, all I did was put blush on. And I used, sorry, um, I used this blush from Bobbi Brown. Um, it's called Pale Pink. And I just put that on my cheeks. And then I just put um, eyeshadow on. And again, I got... I usually use Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, but I got this one. It's called the Sophisticate. And you guys, the colors are so pretty. When she opened it and showed me it, I was like, yeah. But it's super pretty. I like the neutral tones. I didn't, I don't know. Sometimes I go for more like pinkish tones. I, and some browns, but this is what I normally use. So anyway. Go give it a try. I love it. Um, I'll do a tutorial on how I do my eyes and um, and I'll show you a side by side on my face on how much I love it. But I also just wanted to kind of wear it today to see how it feels and how it lasts. So I've only used it once um, and I liked it. Now this isn't one that I would probably wear to the gym by any means. I would wear um, by Laura Mercer or Charlotte Tilbury too. Don't worry about you. I haven't forgotten about you. I love you. Um, this is my darker one. This is number eight. So this is my summer one. Um, but this is just the wonder, um, the light wonder. And this is just a really good, like it has SPF in it and stuff. So I like it because it's not crazy. It's not a crazy coverage. It just evens out skin tone. This is more fun for like work or going out or whatever you want to do with it. To the gym, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go get dressed now. Have a good day and let me know what else you guys wanna hear and see. Love you all.